Hey guys, welcome back. So, in the last video, we have created this insert activity and written this HTTP client method. Today, we are going to write code to insert the data into the database and we will call the API over here. So, let's start. Okay, so for writing basic query, I have created this insert.php file. So, we will use the PHP script for writing this. Okay, now first dollar on is equal to my SQLI underscore connect and inside that we will pass local host the host name the username password and the database name the it will be called operation okay so it will be good practice if you write this uh, all things in a separate file and call that uh, over here but for this demo i have written inside this file okay so now if not dollar con then die Would not connect die would not connect and my my SQLI underscore error we will pass the error okay so now Decl now declare variable dollar id is equal to dollar underscore request and here the variable will be the variable which we have written in that java file so it will be the variable will be input id it must be the same uh, we have written in the java file okay so now dollar name is equal to dollar underscore request and the variable will be input name a dollar programming language is equal to dollar underscore request prog okay so now we will check if all these three values are not null so if dollar id double equal to null or dollar name double equal to null or dollar programming language double equal to null so if any of the field is null then we will print an error message dollar r o r e is equal to field all the fields okay and uh, we will print print json underscore end code and uh, inside that we will pass a dollar r okay or else uh, if uh, values are not null then dollar insert is equal to mysqli underscore query dollar con comma select select star from table where where I will see 
id is equal to dollar id okay so we will check we will first check whether the record they already exist or not so for that dollar check if we will null a null string uh, while dollar row is equal to my sqli underscore fetch underscore array of dollar insert dollar check is equal to dollar row of input id so if dollar check double equal to null if check is null then dollar query is equal to insert into table and the values will be dollar id write this uh, into single quotes dollar name and dollar programming language okay okay so dollar comma is equal to mysql underscore query and here we will pass dollar con connection and dollar insert okay so if dollar s then we will pass dollar r of r e and by message will be record inserted successfully and print json underscore encode and pass dollar r else we will send error message record not inserted okay so now okay so now else if record already exists then we will send a message that record record id already exist and we will print that message print json underscore encode dollar i and here we will close the connection my sql and close my sql underscore close and we will pass the dollar con connection okay so now inside the insert activity dot java file we will write the code to call this uh, uh, through api and we will show the message okay so now let's convert the response to, uh, to the string so convert response to string and here we will write that inside the try catch block 
try and catch a insert catch exception e and here a log dot e log underscore error error con error converting result plus a dot to string okay so this is a try block we will use buffer reader to get the data buffer reader is equal to new buffer reader and here new input stream input stream and the care set will be i new input stream comma iso iphone 8859 iphone 1 comma 8 okay now string builder is equal to new string builder now string line is equal to null so while line is equal to buffer reader dot read line not equal to null then string builder dot append line plus slash n okay and now we will navigate it to the home activity main activity intent i is equal to new new intent get base context comma main activity dot class and start activity dot class start activity i and here we will close this connection input stream dot close and insert this result result is equal to string builder dot to string okay and now we will write another try catch block exception e and insert this we will use json object is equal to json underscore data is equal to new json object and here we will pass this result so now with the help of this care sequence is equal to json data dot get the string name will be the this array which we have passed okay so here we need to cast it to the care sequence and now let's toast and message Post dot make text get application context here we will pass care sequence and toast dot length long dot so okay yeah. and if in ex exception error parsing data okay 
So now inside this URL, let's say URL HTTP colon double slash 192.168.0.182. This is my IP slash my SQL code operation slash insert dot php this uh, ma this will be the path uh, where we have stored the our insert dot php file we need to save the file inside that uh, uh, xamp folder at uh, xamp ht docs folder inside that we, you can uh, create file outside or you can also create one folder i have created the folder named my square code operation okay so now this is ready so now let's run and check whether it is running properly or so now let's test id1 name patrick language java submit okay record insert successfully so now open the local host as php my admin and navigate to the table and if that the record has record has been inserted so we will add code to show the records which we have were inserted from the database and i have also updated the source code in the github the link is in the description so check it out so see you guys in the next video please like share and don't forget to subscribe to less tech